Now that we have identified what kinds of media teenagers and young adults most commonly consume, we can look at the effects these media have on social skills and the capacity to love others. Truly, we are talking about a generation of introverts, people who would rather maintain a wall that avoids having to actually talk to other people in person. We also look at how media cause unhealthy body image expectations, such as here where we see Snapchat news promote improving the look of one's body rather than its health. Another example of Snapchat media displays unattainable and materialistic socioeconomic standards. The modern day teenager is overwhelmed with popularity on social media. How many people retweeted your post? Did your Instagram draw enough attention to gain the right amount of likes? These are the ways teenagers seek approval and validation from others, rather than through sharing the experiences personally with one another. Audiences see a similar situation in the new Netflix series, 13 Reasons Why. By looking at this series in the class blog, we can discuss how social media and digital communication play harmful roles in the increase of hate and decrease in our ability to love. In a society that is so consumed by social media approval and staying connected with loved ones, but just distanced enough through a screen, we find a generation of consumers that are true Goldilockses that are all alone together. I have 422 friends, yet I'm lonely. I speak to all of them every day, yet none of them really know me. The problem I have sits in the spaces between looking into their eyes or at a name on a screen. I took a step back and opened my eyes. I looked around and realised that this media we call social is anything but when we open our computers and it's our doors we shut. All this technology we have, it's just an illusion. Community companionship, a sense of inclusion. Yet when you step away from this device of delusion, you awaken to see a world of confusion. So when you're in public and you start to feel alone, put your hands behind your head, step away from the phone. You don't need to stare at your menu or at your contact list. Just talk to one another, learn to coexist. I can't stand to hear the silence of a busy commuter train where no one wants to talk through the fear of looking insane. We're becoming unsocial, it no longer satisfies to engage with one another and look into someone's eyes. 